If you watched my other video on how to repair Windows Movie Maker and it's still not working for you or it's working better but it's still not working right, there's other things you can do to make sure that it will work right for you. Um, the, there's When you install other programs, DVD programs and burning programs, then they install codecs which share resources with Windows Movie Maker and you really don't need those and I'm going to show you how to turn them off in Windows Movie Maker because sometimes those will cause a conflict. Make sure you have the latest drivers for your video and your audio because that can make a big difference too. And if you know who your motherboard manufacturer is or the model number of your computer or whatever, go to that website and download the latest drivers and that might make a difference also. Okay, with Movie Maker open, I'm going to go up to the top, there are tools, click options at the bottom of the menu, that will bring up your options window, this is where you can choose your temporary folders, auto recovery, every, that means every 10 minutes it automatically saves, I usually set it to every 5 minutes and every five minutes it saves a copy of what I'm doing so if it crashes and I reopen uh, Movie Maker right away then it'll recognize the crash and it'll pick up where I left off and temporary storage is the file it saves it in you can change that anywhere you want I'm going to click on the advanced tab at the top there's your automatic default picture duration when you add a picture it's automatically five seconds long whatever you want it your automatic transition duration Video format should be on TSF for the United States and aspect ratio 4.3. For the email, I set that to like 2 megabytes. Okay, we're going to click on the compatibility tab. These are different filters that are installed for audio and video from different programs that we install. Nero, DVD, Decoder, ULEAD, MPEG, Splitter. Okay, we don't need all those. So you can take the check mark out of all those boxes and then try mo and then hit OK and if Movie Maker is playing good for you then that, that was it otherwise you can go back into the compatibility and here it says reset all defaults that will turn the ones on that that Windows knows are OK but it might not know about all of them yet so I just leave them off it doesn't seem to matter so I check them all off And just for good measure, close Windows Movie Maker and then open it again. I'm working on a video right now that uh, for the squeamish, you're not going to like this one. I've had a lot of complaints lately that uh, people have been getting hit with uh, uh, a hijacker virus or hijack program. And what that is is when you when you log on to Windows and the, your wallpaper's changed and it's uh, like a blue screen that tells you you have a virus, you need to install their software and it won't let you change your wallpaper that's a that's a, a spyware virus that you, it's called a hijack program because it hijacks your wallpaper and the other part of that is when they hijack your um, default home page for Internet Explorer or Firefox or whatever Firefox I don't see too much but Internet Explorer gets uh, gets attacked like that but I'm going to show you how to use the hijack this program to remove that it's going to dwell into the registry and my video following that will will we'll get into a little bit of registry editing which uh, is a little dangerous you could kill your computer messing with the registry but I'll show you how to do it as long as you uh, follow along and don't get brave and do anything I didn't tell you to do you'll be alright uh, I'll talk to you later